Mudslinging in England could be a good way to describe the weekend. Finance ministers from the G20, which are the 20 largest economic powers in the world, met in southern England in preparation for the main G20 meeting next month. They continue to talk about how they're handling the current situation and where to from here. This was just a few days after the Chinese threw mud at the Americans when highlighting their concerns about the safety of funds currently being held in US Treasuries. Treasuries are perceived as some of the safest investments around. Not surprisingly, the response from the Americans was one of reassurance and they also said US officials will soon be announcing yet more plans to support the financial sector and their economy. The general consensus from the meeting was that all countries need to actively promote a sustained effort to restore growth and cleanse banks of toxic assets. Increased efforts and a fast turnaround in the global economy would give every opportunity for our own rural sector to perform well. On Friday, global equity markets were up slightly. The mud wasn't restricted to the UK. Over the weekend, US officials were publicly showing their anger at a planned round of bonuses for AIG employees. They have received up to $170 billion in US taxpayer bailouts. AIG, whose fourth quarter loss was the worst in corporate history, earmarked $1 billion in retention pay for about 4,000 employees as an incentive to stay with the crippled insurer. They have since been ordered to scale back these bonuses to $165 million after senior officials said it was distasteful. AIG argued they need to retain these people in order for business units to be attractive for prospective buyers. However, you have to wonder how many would leave given the current state of the employment situation in the US, where over 600,000 people have lost their jobs every month for the past few months, and the fact that they would be leaving a failed insurance company. In currencies, we continue to strengthen, now trading in the mid-52 cent range to the US dollar. Dairy markets have changed very little since Fonterra's last dairy auction. Powders have remained fairly static, while butter and cheese have slid slightly again over the past week. Although we are in the midst of an excellent season, I wouldn't be surprised to see production drop off sooner than expected, as many farmers begin to dry off cows in preparation for next season, and so we may be back to 2007 production levels. There is anecdotal evidence of inventories beginning to accumulate across the world due to slowing demand, but production may be down this year given the drought in South America, slowing production in New Zealand and disheartened dairy farmers in the US deciding to cull cows. This alone may provide a boost to markets with lower supply levels likely to help tighten the international market down the track. 